Welcome to the Daily Wrap here at AustralianOpen.com as we take a look back at the day matches on Rod Laver Arena and some of the major highlights. Craig Morris alongside me. Good to see you, Craig. Thanks, Brad. Great to be here tonight. And earlier in the day, it was Vera Zonarova and Rafael Nadal making very light work of their opponents. We saw Samantha Stoza in action taking on this young 17-year-old, Lauren Davis, who, coming with an amazing record, had won the USTA AO wildcard playoff, but no match. No, great first win for Sam and, uh, you know, get her teeth into the tournament and uh, she'll be glad to get the first one out of the way. Now, we thought Rod Laver would be finished early and a great decision by the organisers to move Alicia Mollick onto the main court and didn't the fans get some value for money? Oh, absolutely, Brett. For uh, Alicia to come out and to win 8-6 in the third, uh, great decision to bring her into Rod Laver Arena and the crowd got right behind her and I think got her over the line. So. For Moll, um, you know, probably uh, such a great individual, you know, it's just a, a, a great result. It certainly was. She's through to play Nadia Petrova, the 13th seed, in the second round. As we take a look at some of the other big names, Andy Murray, his opponent had to retire, but Andy was certainly in control of that match. Yep. Robin Sadling through very comfortably, the fourth seed. And Anna Ivanovic, that is the big story on day two. She is out. Yeah, no, real, uh, real tough loss for Anna. She saved three match points at 5-4 down in the third and got herself back in. And, uh, you know, all credit to her opponent. But uh, real loss for the tournament first up to uh, to lose Anna, who's a real crowd favourite. We cut her in a Makarova through to the second round. Let's take a look at the uh, open drive. It features Peter Luchak and Victoria Azarenka. Which player is the best dressed on the tour? No, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it's me because I don't want to say I'm cocky, but... <laughs> uh, I know some of the Spanish boys get dressed up. They have, they're pretty fancy. Yeah, Vidasco and Like Vidasco and Lopez. I know they like to put on a show. Yeah. Big day three coming up on Rod Laver Arena. How about these names? Justine Enner, Andy Roddick and also Venus Williams all going to be favourites in their matches, uh, Craig? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, tomorrow night's a big one, I think, Ooh. Brett. Yelena Dokic is taking on Barbara Zahalova Strikova, who got through... To the next round, but Yelena, what a great win she had on Margaret Court Arena uh, opening day. Absolutely, had the crowd in wraps, and uh, I'm sure all 15,000 plus of viewers at home be eager to uh, try and get on the back with the Yelena and, uh, and and get her through that one. And create that same sort of feeling as 2008. Roger Federer loves this court. He takes on Gilles Simon, who's back in some good form. The man who won, of course, Sydney on the weekend. Yeah, no, Roger be uh, very, very prepared for that one, and Simon's in good form, so he'd be keen to get through that one as quick as he can. I'm sure. Big day two, it's been a big day three. Coming up, of course, you can catch all the action on AustralianOpen.com.